Hi everyone and welcome to Inktober day one for 2017. Today I um, just got in the mail um, some dip pen nibs which I have desperately been wanting to get. Um, some of them I still don't have um, but I do have several here that I can use for today and I got it uh, Tachikawa um, pen holder, nib holder. So I'm going to try and use this today and we'll see what happens. Uh, if it's going to end up a fail and I don't want to ruin my drawing on camera, <laughs> then I will switch over to one of my regular fountain pens or a micron pen. But for today, I'm going to be doing, um, you know, I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to stick with the prompt swift or not. So I kind of made a compromise. I am just exhausted today. I had to get up super early, which is really hard for me because I don't sleep well. I, you know, I fall asleep at like 3.34 in the morning and I had to be up at 6.45. So my eyeballs are on fire today and I thought about taking a nap, but I've noticed that some of you have already been posting on Instagram and it is great. All of your pictures that I have been seeing so far are just gorgeous. So thank you to all of you. I, I have seen multiple posts here for Inktober. Uh, Love for Art 33 has a, um, a window scape and uh, Thomas Blanchard or Wine Lover 125 or I always forget your numbers. I'm sorry, Tom. Um, he put a beautiful dolphin uh, jumping in the water with the reflection below. It was gorgeous. And then Mark Regal did a Statue of Liberty. Um, and that is phenomenal. And we have Hawk145, who did a uh, waterfall. And I'm assuming she was following the swift prompt for today. And she um, did this waterfall. It reminds me of Niagara Falls here in the U.S., and then I think that is all that has been posted so far for day one. So get your posts in there, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and start my drawing now. Um, and like I said, I'm not sure if it's going to be swift or not. I'm doing a landscape. I'm comfortable with it and I'm tired today. But I promise I will branch out a little bit like I did last year. So um, let's see if I can use these dip pens, huh? I got five I nibs going. in this set. And... Um, these are all comic, comic nibs, I guess you could say. Um, and some of them are harder to use than others. So, um, I have here a G nib, which is, is it this one? Yeah, G nib. I have, um, a Saji and Maru pen nibs, which I've got a feeling I'm going to like more than anything. And then I have, uh, a um they call it a school pen nib that must be this one yeah this is the school pen nib and then this one the nip nipanji a nipanji pen and this one looks very fine so i'm going to try them all out before i get started and then i'll go ahead with the drawing i am not real familiar with uh dip pens i've always used fountain pens and so this is going to be something very new for me. I'm going to start with the easier ones first. And then um, this one looked bent. No, I guess that's just how it's made. Um, and then I will go from there. Uh, I do have some other nibs that are coming also. But I'm going to try these easier ones first. This is a very comfortable nib holder too. It's got a rubber grip for those of you who are not familiar with dip pens. I think this is the one also that... Um, uh, Jake Parker put in his list of pens for, for Inktober, along with the Copic one that I showed you, the brush tip, and uh, there were several others, but and microns and everything. But I'm going to go ahead and try these, and then I'll get started. Out. We'll see if I'm going to use them or not. I'm not so sure. Uh, I think I need to practice a little bit with them first. But anyway, um... I did a preliminary sketch of what I'm going to draw on here, and um, I'm just going to go ahead and start inking it in and finishing it up.
now that I've got the drawing done, I'm using some of uh, Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay uh, India ink to put the color down with here. And uh, I'm just mixing colors here for the bushes. I mixed some green and red together and decided to deepen it with a little more ultramarine blue, but it kind of got away from me. I was gonna just put it in certain areas, but working with ink is so much different than with watercolor. You have to be quick or it's gonna stick there for good. Don't forget to share your sketches and hashtag them with Inktober and Inktober 2017. And on Instagram, hashtag them with Sharon Cullen Art so they can be shared in our group. Everybody remember, be courageous, sketch with wild abandon, and most of all, be kind to people. Bye-bye.